In this video, we're gonna break down one of the most important parts of the Baines Method, and that is the Morpheus Recovery and Training System. So I'll explain what HRV is, why it matters, how to test it properly each morning, and how to use your Morpheus data to decide what type of training is best to do each day. So what is heart rate variability? Heart rate variability has been used in sports science and medical research for decades. It's one of the most reliable ways to measure how your body is handling stress and recovery. Originally, it was something only elite sports teams and universities could access, but now we can use that same technology every morning to guide your training decisions with precision. HRV simply measures the variation in time between each heartbeat. That small variation tells us how well your autonomic nervous system, the system that controls stress and recovery, is functioning. A high HRV means your body is balanced, your parasympathetic rest and recover system is active, and you're ready to train. A low HRV means your sympathetic fight or flight system is dominating your body under stress and needs recovery before it can adapt further. So when it comes to measuring HRV, the accuracy matters. The gold standard is an ECG measurement, it's an electrocardiography that reads the electrical signal from your heart directly. The Morpheus chest strap uses this method giving you clinical grade accuracy. Wrist-based devices like Whoop, Garmin and Aura Rings use optical sensors that can detect change in blood flow through the skin, which are fine for tracking general heart rate, but they cannot accurately detect the micro variations between heartbeats that determines your HRV. That's why Morpheus is so much more reliable. It measures from the source. Your recovery test takes about two and a half minutes each morning, and here's exactly how to do it. As soon as you wake up before you have caffeine, food, or excessive movement, your Morpheus chest strap. You don't have to sleep with it on, you simply put it on in the morning. Sit or lie in a quiet spot, open up the app and start the test and stay completely still and silent until it finishes. When it's done, it gives you a recovery score out of 100. The key to this test is consistently. Try to do it at the same time each morning, within an hour or two. Obviously, if you wake up a little later on the weekend, it's fine, but don't take it at 4 a.m. one morning and 10 a.m. the next. Be in the same position and under the same conditions. It's how you build accuracy over time. Once your test is complete, Morpheus gives you your recovery score and then a color code into one of three zones. The green zone, which is 80 and above, which means you have high recovery. Your body is fully recharged and ready to handle harder training session or higher intensity. Orange, which is 60 to 79, you've got moderate recovery. You can train, but keep your intensity controlled. This is where aerobic work fits best. And if intensity was planned, I would suggest swapping it for a capacity day. Below 60, your system is still stressed or fatigued. Focus on movement, blood flow, and active recovery. Not hard intensity, not even hard aerobic work. It's just active recovery all the way. The recovery score is your daily guide. It tells you what kind of work your body needs on any given day, not just what's written on the plan. Now, with Morphits, it's important to understand the difference between recovery zones and training zones. Your recovery zone tells you how ready your body is to train. Your training zone determines how hard you should train. Morpheus divides your training intensity into three colored zones. Blue zone, low to moderate aerobic work. This would be anything from zone one to zone three. This builds endurance and promotes recovery based on intensity. Green zone, your threshold work. Sustained controlled discomfort. This improves your ability to hold pace under fatigue. And the red zone is your VO2 max or maximal effort work short bursts at near full output. These sessions carry the highest stress and require the most recovery. Morpheus automatically adjusts these heart rate zones each day based on your recovery. When recovery is high, your zones shift upwards, meaning your body can handle more load. When recovery is low, your zones shift downward, meaning intensity feels harder at a lower heart rate. And if you ignore this and push through green zone or red zone work, on a low recovery day, you're not actually stimulating adaptation. You're digging into a recovery debt that compounds over time. So to summarize, HRV shows us how your body is responding to stress and recovery. That's all it is. Never take a recovery score personally. It's just giving you the best indication of what you should do on any given day. An ECG is the only way to be accurate with your measurement of HRV. And your recovery score again tells you what kind of training your body is ready for in any given day. Your training zone guides tell you how hard you should train. When you combine these two together, recovery and intensity, that's when you start training with your body, not just against it. And again, this is the foundation of the Baines method. Recovery-led performance gives you the best results.